So I am so excited to be here in Davis, California. My name is Melissa Mushaka, and I'm here with Natalie, who is the founder of Tessie Foundation. And we just wrapped up an amazing, amazing, amazing event for Tessie Foundation. And this is the fourth annual tea. And I am sitting here with the founder who has really poured herself out to this labor of love to birth this amazing organization. And so I would love to just say, first off, how are you feeling? <laughs> okay. Now comes the work. As you can see, people are tearing down. It's really a labor of love. I am so amazed and honored by the amount of love that people pour out for our students and for our foundation. And it means a lot that it really takes a village. It does. And speaking of village, for anyone out there who does not know about Tessie Foundation, please share with us how did this birth, what is the current vision, okay. and what is the future vision? And that's a big loaded question, but I know you have an answer. It is a lot, but you have a lot. You've done a okay. lot. I have done a lot. I feel um, that I share part of my story is that I have never had to feel what it feels to not have an education or not be able to eat or not to have tuition because my parents are successful and became medical doctor and biochemist because somebody sponsored them as kids. And so these sponsorships, if you see our students right there on the table, mm -hmm. it's a generation, it represents a generation. And for me to sit back and enjoy the benefits of the generation yeah. of impact and not do anything, is, I feel is negligent. So I, my goal is to make myself responsible and I'm doing the little I can and everybody can do a little and bring a village of people together. Today we're bringing a village of women together because I think we lose so much power in the power of women and we don't really do enough to just really enjoy what we do for each other and see what we can do together, you know? It's 100% volunteer driven and the planning team takes hours and hours. It's just an amazing, amazing thing to see. And so my goal for you know five years from now, I want to see all these students in college. I don't want them to end in high school because high school is just the beginning. What about college? What about post-grad? What about, I want to see them doing post-grad somewhere and um, enjoying the life and, and, and like really making an impact. I want to see water. I want water to be an old thing that, hey, years ago, there used to be places where you couldn't get water. That's right. ridiculous. Right. right now, one of our, out of our five schools has water, a borehole. Wow. Eight thousand, what is $8,000? 8,000 right. is one of these paintings here. Right. We could get a whole community water. Wow. So I just, yeah. And so, so Natalie's been on the ground in Zimbabwe, and she has worked with these students one-on-one -on -one, um, in a very interpersonal way. What is the feedback that you receive from them since starting this organization? What is the kind of the domino effect that's happening within the families and the communities that you've been observing? Well, I mean, it's amazing. Um, I'm not related to them. Sometimes Africa can be very cultural, like, why would you do this to somebody you're not related to? Mm. Because I, I, it doesn't have to be somebody I'm related to for me to know a generation is going to be changed. So there's a lot of just gratefulness that a stranger who doesn't have any ties to their family would just come into a village and just take a burden off. So the parents feel their weight lifted, wow. you know. And um, for me as a mom, I feel that release where they don't have that burden. I don't want anyone to ever have the burden of how am I gonna take my students to school. And we do more than that. We are really there for our students. Every single one we know by name. I They text me in the middle of the night. They WhatsApp me at two in the morning. They're teenagers. And I want them to be teenagers and feel like that they can. But um, when things happen in their life, we're there for them. Anna lost her dad a week ago from epilepsy. Something that people shouldn't die from, really. People live with epilepsy everywhere. And so I just feel that the parents are burdened. I know that we pay for tuition, they're burdened. So we sent her $500 to help with the funeral. They had nothing, he was a breadwinner. And so we want them to know that we're family and we don't need to see you every day or be related for you to know that we care and someone cares and you don't have to carry that burden. And so it's an honor, it really is an honor. Um, it's a labor of love, it's hard. But everything beautiful is hard. Yeah. This is so true. And speaking of honor, um, we just wrapped up, as you can see, the fourth annual tea. And this theme was out of Africa. And I was so honored and blessed to have a table and be honored myself here. Um, now that we've wrapped up, 
now that you know you're kind of you know we're not home stretch yet because we have the symposium tomorrow which is going to be amazing yes. tune in um but we just finished this and it was great and like there was great um auctions that happened there were people who came together there were stories that were told how are you feeling what is your kind of current result like how are you feeling i'm feeling just honored and blessed this year was especially amazing because the lionesses, you are here. People are traveling from all over Africa and African diaspora, Texas, New York, to come and just be here for me and support. And like, just to you, Melissa, it means so much for you to take time out of your busy New York to Paris life and, um, and just come and, and honor and grace this event. I feel like people don't create enough spaces for African women to give them wisdom. And I feel there's a lot of wisdom in African women that we're not tapping as a community and as the world. And I think it's about time that the, iron, the lionesses roar yes. and um, we just hear from them from you and your story and I think I'm excited about tomorrow I'm excited to hear your story and I'm excited that they hear your story too and so for those um, who want to know more who want to do more how can we support you how can I continue to support you yes. and how can you at home continue to support Tessa and Natalie keep coming every year first Sunday of November <laughs> don't wait for an invitation or an evite to the tea keep coming to, to the, the tea. tea yes but again these scholarships we need all year round 250 is all it takes for a student 3,000 is all it takes for a college student these are manageable things that people can really do and for some people it's, it's not much you know and some people it's much but it's worth it um, so please on our Facebook T-E-S-E -E foundation on Facebook on Twitter Instagram like us, follow us, tell people about us. Um, you know, my daughter, who's only six years old, does bake sales for us. And she, she, she says, this is for the girls. When we did the underwear project, she went around collecting underwear and saying, our girls need this. Yeah. Six years old. So we definitely like our young girls, like this beautiful young girl, yeah. coming to the tea. Because we want them to see what their mothers are doing. We want them to see the impact when women step up and do something. There's absolutely no way I could do all this for myself. It does take a village. Yeah. And if you happen to go buy some underwear, you send them Drop to them Natalie. Off. Drop them off. Drop those panties. You have $8,000, buy us some water. <laughs> buy some water. Thank you so much for tuning in, Natalie. Thank you so much for having Thank me. Thank you so much for being this pillar and this pioneer to, to just stand up in the gap where, where it's needed. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. African Lioness 2018. African Lioness 2018. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you, Melissa.